In this lesson, we're going to be learning Harvest Moon by Neil Young. The song actually translates well to ukulele. I think it sounds pretty cool. Um, we're going to be using some different chord voicings and uh, definitely using our pinky a little bit in some spots. So let's just start right at the intro. It's going to start with a D major chord. The song is in the key of D. Um, now at first, if you can bar your D like this and arch your finger up so that the, the um, A string is ringing out, that's great. If you can't, just on the first three strums of the intro, try not to play the high, the high A string there. Let me just play the intro for you first so you see what it sounds like. Okay, so that's the intro. So we're gonna start with this D. So you're basically gonna be strumming just these three strings, okay? The G, the C, and the E string for the first three down strokes. So it's down, down, down. Now, if you can get the uh, A string to ring out without getting your finger on it, you can strum that too. If not, don't strum it yet. So it's down, down, down. Then you're gonna place your finger, I'm sorry, it's down, down. Then on the third downstroke, you go ahead and bar all four strings. This creates basically a D6 chord, okay? So it's down, 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 up, down. So down, down on just the D, and then down, up, down with the D6 chord, barring all four strings. One more time. That's the rhythm. Down, 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 up, down. Okay, then we put our third finger on the fourth fret, still barring the second fret, and we're gonna do down, up, 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 down, up. down, up, down, up, 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 down, up. Okay, so that's the whole intro. I'm going to play it nice and slow through the whole thing. Okay, so that's, you play that, I think, four times at the beginning. And uh, that's it for the intro. So uh, on the tab, you'll see there the first uh, two bars um, of that intro, or the whole intro, I have indicated the stroke, the strumming pattern. Right above the tab, you'll see a sign that looks like this, like a little staple. That indicates a downstroke. The V indicates an upstroke. So in case you're confused about where, where to strum down and up, that's where you uh, can check it out. Okay, so that's the intro. Now we go to the verse. We're gonna play an E minor chord. Second fret, third fret, uh, fourth fret with your pinky third fret, or I'm sorry, fourth fret here with your third finger. Now, you don't have to play the G string. You can just move your third finger down here to the C string. I like to play all four so I don't have to worry about not hitting that G string when I'm strumming. So this is into the verse. Strumming pattern's really easy. You're gonna hang out on this E minor chord for four bars. And it's just down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. That's it. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Four times. And then we're going to go up here to another D-shaped chord, okay? 
So I'm borrowing the fifth fret here on the A and E string, sixth fret on the C string, seventh fret on the G string. And uh, here the strum pattern is um, so it's down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, up. So it sounds like this. Now, with my pinky, I'm doing a lot of stuff here. So it's down, down, up, up. Now on that upstroke, I'm just hitting kind of the higher strings. Then I'm putting my pinky on the uh, ninth fret of the E string. And I'm really just picking the, the A and E strings here. And then off, and then, then I'm moving my pinky to the seventh fret of the E string here, right there. Down, up, and then down with the, with the pinky off. Again, all the, the, um, Strumming patterns are on the tab, and you don't have to strum the pattern, the specific, you know, uh, downstroke on this chord, upstroke on this chord. What's important is that the rhythm is right. <clears throat> you could play the same rhythm a ton of different ways as far as what, on what beat you're doing up or down. This is just a suggestion. So if the strum pattern as far as up or down feels better to you a different way, that's totally fine. Um, just a lot of people ask for a specific strum pattern, so I'm trying to give it, give it to you there. Um, so let me play the verse up to there so you can see what it sounds like. We have our four bars on E minor. back to E minor. Same thing. And then from here we go to G. So if you remember how to play a G, it's like that. If you don't remember, you really should probably go back and check out the lessons on a G major chord, but it looks like that. Same kind of pattern as the E minor chord. Down, 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 up, down, up for four bars. Now, instead of going to the D here, we're gonna do just like we did in the intro. Then back to the G. That brings us to the chorus. The chorus is pretty simple. You're just, you're gonna play, so we're on a D, you're gonna leave your finger there. You're gonna play an A sus four chord, okay? So the way you do this, you're gonna keep your pinky right there, or your first finger there. Your second finger is gonna come up here and play the fourth fret of the E string. Third finger is gonna play the fifth fret of the, um, I'm sorry, this is the C string. E string, fifth fret, and pinky's gonna play the fifth fret of the A string. And you're just gonna two. It's just eighth notes. Down, up, 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 down, up. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. To an A dominant seven chord. From there, you're just gonna switch back. You're gonna put your third finger up here, the fourth fret of the C string, your pinky's on the fourth fret of the A string, and your second finger is on the third fret of the, um, sorry, E string. And you're gonna do two bars there of eighth notes. 
And that's gonna go back to the A sus4 for two bars. Back to the A7. And then you're back to the intro. And that, that's pretty much all the parts. So let me go over uh, all of that briefly, let, play through it all again so you can see how it goes. Verse, E minor. to E minor. G for two bars, or four bars, sorry. Intro. to G. Intro. Chorus. Okay, so from there, you're really just repeating these patterns. So it goes through a whole nother verse, whole nother chorus, goes back to the intro, and then you have <clears throat> a guitar solo. I'm sorry, a harmonica solo. And that's same parts, it just starts on G. And it alternates between G and this piece that we did up here, and G and the intro. So it's all it's all on the tab as far as the arrangement goes. But that is all the parts <clears throat> that uh, you need to know uh, for Harvest Moon by Neil Young.